Hey, hey guys! Jessica Stansberry back, and I'm bringing you another Trello tip today. Cause y'all are loving the Trello, and I'm loving the Trello, and I just thought I'd make more Trello stuff for you. Cause I'm awesome, and you're awesome. So there's that. On today's edition of Trello with Jessica, I'm going to teach you how to link your calendar in Trello with your Google Calendar. This one's really fun, guys. So you guys have seen me talk before about how to use the calendar power up in Trello or at least turn it on. Um, I talked about it in this tutorial that I did about Trello. The calendar power up in Trello is definitely my favorite because I like to see a calendar view of hashtag all the things, especially when I'm working on something like my blog workflow or launching a new program or launching a new course or something like that, I can see all of the steps to my launch or all of the steps to the thing in a calendar view. So I know on this day I have to do this, on this day I have to do that. And it works out really well for me. Something that a lot of people say is, you know, I don't want to check two calendars, I don't want to check Trello and my Google Calendar. Well, I've got you covered because you can actually sync your Google Calendar to your Trello calendars and see them all in one place on Google. So let's head over to Trello. I'm gonna show you how to do that. Now, if for whatever reason you want, didn't want to sync boards separately because you do have to do it that way with this tutorial, you could use something like um, Butler or even this um, this other power up. I let's see, what was it called? Board Sync by Unito, um, or Unito, uh, to create a master board with all of your cards on one master board, and you could sync that master board to your calendar. But for the purposes of this tutorial, let's sync each one separately. I'm just going to show you how to sync one, and then you can do each of yours um, as you feel fit. That way you can create different color codes and things like that for each calendar. Um, and it makes things a little easier to read inside of Google Calendar. Okay, so let's say I wanted to put this board on my Google Calendar. First and foremost, you do have to have the calendar power up enabled. To do that, you'll go to show menu and go to power ups and scroll down until you see calendar and you'll hit enable. Now I already have mine enabled, which is why I see this here. You won't see that until you do that. Now the second thing you need to do is just click this little cog wheel and you want to enable the feed there and copy that URL it gives you. Now you wanna go over to your Google Calendar and you want to scroll past all of your regular calendars and go to other calendars, click the little down area arrow and hit add by URL. You'll paste in the URL you just got from Trello and hit add calendar. Now it'll be just a random URL here, but you can totally um, edit whatever you want to here. So if you wanted to um, edit the calendar settings and call it noisemakers camp Trello board or something like that, you can do that. You can also tell it what color you want it to be um, and toggle it on and off. So now when I'm looking at my Google Calendar, I'm seeing all of those. So if I wanted to toggle on um, some of my other Trello boards, I can see when my blog posts are due, I can see when things are going live for Noisemaker, Noisemakers Camp, which was a launch I did, um, or I can just toggle it off and then I can also go in and um, hide the calendar and delete it and things like that so that I can really customize it to what I need. So that's really all. Enable the calendar, power up, copy the link, and put it in Google Calendar. And that's it. It's literally probably the easiest one I've ever shown you. I mean, the easiest thing ever, probably. But it could come in handy in so many ways. You could, you know, have all, your, all of your team hooked to one Google Calendar, or it could just help you see everything at a glance so you're not having to switch back and forth between different board views. Okay, so that's all for today. As always, if you want to grab my entire bank of Trello boards that I use in my business, click the link below and head over to the blog post that accompanies this video and sign up because 
those are really cool and you can copy them and then you can have all these awesome Trello boards for your business. That's, that's awesome. Oh, and if you're using Trello inside of your business, I would love to hear more about the questions you have or how you're using Trello. Either teach me or ask me to teach you in the comments below. And hit subscribe so that every time I publish a video, you know it's out and you can come back and watch it because, you know, you're awesome. So, and we're friends. And you like to come watch me talk about business stuff. Okay, hit subscribe, comment below, and I'll see you later.